Now, my people, Aniko is coming to you from Nigeria, Lagos today. It's a very prestigious and important event. We're all here to celebrate the African giant. You know, many of you call him Tubaba, many got to know him as Two Face Dibia. It has been 20 years since he's been in the industry. Can you believe that? From the time he released his first single, and this event, he invited only friends and people who he's been working with for the past 20 years. I'm honored to have been one of them. So, guys, ladies and gentlemen, please follow me so we can see what to Baba's event to celebrate his 20 years in the industry has to offer. Come through, come through, come through. This is also another place where we'll be taking the VIP interviews. I hopefully I'm gonna interview to Baba right here. And uh, as you can see, so many people have sponsored this event, including the Tuba Bar Foundation, Hypertech, which is the company that um, Tuba Bar works with, Backwild Media, together with Backwild Media, my company uh, organized the Disruption Africa concert in Kenya. And on the other side, they're actually traditional dancers. Let's go see them. Man, how are you? I'm fine. This outfit you're wearing is absolutely brilliant. Could you tell me the history of this outfit? Which tribe does it come from? It's from Cross River, the Calabar people. So this is a traditional outfit for celebrations or for what purpose? Yeah, for celebration, ceremonial, and the total and MFA people. So what should we expect from you guys? Well, something different. <laughs> is there a name that you call yourselves? This is uh, Midon Dancers, Cross River, Bobezia in Lagos. Cross River is what side of Nigeria? Baba, that's South South. Hey, nice to meet you. I love the outfit. I love the dance. I hope you guys are going to do your thing again. Thank you. I love your outfit. I hope I can get this. Sure, sure. You can. Okay, thank you. Now we are actually going to do the real thing, get into the event, see what's happening, what's popping. Come with me. Welcome to Baba, you see? So guys, you can see this is the event, very small, very intimate, very to Baba style, always been a very humble person, down to earth, likes to do his stuff in a very classy way. So we are at the etchers of Calabar venue. It is a celebration of Tubaba at 20 and we'll just be talking to other celebrities, other artists who are here. We'll be talking to Tubaba just to know what everyone is celebrating about the 20 years of Tubaba. So come with me, hope I can get a drink. Thirsty! On the wall there's like um, just pictures of the moments of Tubaba's career. You can see like 20 years of a king so this looks like a release of an album, song. You can see this is um, where Tubaba won the MTV EMA Awards. You can see this is one of his um, very big albums, I think. You can see this is Tubaba and Arnold Schwarzenegger. So hey, the guys made every superstar in this world. Name them. You can follow me around. I'm just going to say hi to my friends, colleagues, peers in the industry and hope you guys are going to enjoy this review.
I'm just about to interview to Baba. As you can see, he's being interviewed by a radio station, and I hope I can steal him right after this because every single person around me is waiting to talk to him. So, hey, let's see how this goes. But one thing I know is Africa's music is undeniable. It's been there, it's been part of what everybody has been pinching from. You understand? But like I said, we've never been accepting our own stuff. We wait for people to validate. It's anyone they validate that we take. You know, but it's been there. Everybody has been pinching from our stuff. You know, there's so many things that is ours. But it's only when it goes out there and it gets recycled back to us. We don't say, oh, this is it. You know. But we've been having it since. And I'm happy that, you know, the spotlight is coming. And I'm happy that the world is going to have the chance to really, really feel us now. Thank you.